Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have 3 to the power of m equals to m to the power of 9 and here we need to solve this problem for the values of m. So uh, the very first thing we are going to do is here first we move the, uh, the term unknown term to the right hand side and we move the constant term to the left hand side. Okay, so now first we move uh, the unknown term to the right hand side okay so in order to move this unknown term to the right hand side here we need to take the mth root on both of the sides of this equation so here we take the mth root and it will be written as 3 to the power of m and its whole power 1 over m equals to m to the power of 9 and its whole power 1 over m so after that uh, here we need to use the nice exponential lie and you know about this lie if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m times of n. So we use this nice exponential lie in the left hand side as well as the right hand side so that its left hand side will be written as 3 to the power of m multiplied by 1 over m equals to m to the power of 9 multiplied by 1 over m so here this m is cancelled out by this m and we get the left hand side is equals to 3 and it equals to m to the power of 9 over m so in the first step we move the unknown term to the right hand side and now we move the uh, constant term to the left hand side so uh, when we move constant term to the left hand side so that uh, here we need to take the ninth root on both of the sides so we write it here 3 to the power of 1 over 9 equals to m to the power of 9 over m and its whole power 1 over 9 and after that uh, here we again use uh, this exponential law so according to this exponential law we multiply these two exponents here and we write it as m to the power of 9 over m multiplied by 1 over 9 and in the left hand side we have 3 to the power of 1 over 9 so this 9 is cancelled out by this 9 and we get here 3 to the power of 1 over 9 equals to m to the power of 1 over m so uh, here uh, you see focus on the right hand side and you see here uh, if our base is m and its exponent is the reciprocal of its base so we make this type of same condition to the right hand side it means that if you have any number in the base so we make the reciprocal of that number to the exponent okay so in order to make this type of condition uh, here uh, we need to multiply and divide the left hand side the exponent of the left hand side by 3 so that it will be written as 3 to the power of 1 over 9 and its whole exponent is multiplied by 3 and divided by 3 and it is equals to m to the power of 1 over m and after that we again use here this exponential law so according to this exponential law we uh, just multiply this 1 over 3 by this exponent and it will be written as 3 to the power of 1 over 9 multiplied by 1 over 3 and its whole exponent is 3 okay so this is remaining here and we have in the right hand side is m to the power of 1 over m so now we uh, simplify in the left hand side and we have 3 to the power of uh, 1 times of 1 becomes 1 and 9 times of 3 becomes 27 and its whole power 3 equals to m to the power of 1 over m so here we uh, use another exponential law so uh, according to this exponential law we uh, write it here if you have a to the power of m to the power of n we write it as a to the power of n to the power of m it means that uh, if you have exponent to the exponent and uh, when we interchange these two exponents so it cannot be affected our final answer so it is all uh, always equals to a to the power of m times of n so uh, now we use a uh, this nice exponential law in the left hand side of this equation 
so that by using this law we interchange these two exponents and we write it as uh, 3 to the power of 3 and its whole power 1 over 27 here we just uh, move this exponent inside and we move uh, 1 over 20 side outside of this bracket and uh, in the right hand side we have m to the power of 1 over m so now in the next step we compare both of the sides and uh, when you compare both of the sides uh, sorry first we need little bit simplification in the left hand side so now we multiply uh, uh, or you see here we have 3 to the power of 3 is equals to 27 and its whole exponent 1 over 27 equals to m to the power of 1 over m so now uh, we make uh, the desired condition because uh, we know that here our base is 27 and its exponent is the reciprocal of its base similarly here you have the same condition so now we compare both of the sides and you easily see here we have m equals to 27 as well as 1 over 27 equals to 1 over m so from uh, in both of these cases we get the same value of m and it is equals to 27 so this shows that m equals to 27 be the uh, only solution of this question so uh, now we check this solution is the solution is satisfied over a given question or not so uh, here we first copy down our question statement so our question statement is 3 to the power of m equals to m to the power of 9 so now we check uh, this solution on substituting on both of the sides of this given equation and we see the behavior so we have 3 to the power of m and our m is equals to 27 and here you have 27 to the power of 9 so here we focus on the right hand side and we write our right hand side as because this is 27 and it will be written as 3 to the power of 3 okay 3 to the power 3 is 27 and its whole power 9 so after that uh, here we again use the exponential law in the right hand side and it will be written as 3 to the power of 27 equals to 3 to the power of 3 is equals to 27 and its uh, uh, sorry uh, here uh, we cannot write here because we move 27 to this form so here we multiply these two exponents and we write it as 3 to the power of 3 times of 9 is 27 so uh, you focus on both of the sides and you see here the both of the sides are equal so uh, it means that uh, the left hand side and right hand side are equal when we take our m equals to 27 so m equals to 27 be the only solution of this question uh, and uh, I have one question for you is this question have any other root other than 27 please tell me the answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos